Joining us now is our colleague Quentin Hardy, Head of Editorial for Google Cloud, to talk all about the exciting news that was just announced. Welcome, Quentin. Oh, it's great to be here. Now, what about today's announcement? What does it really tell us about the current state of enterprise computing? Oh, well, you know, obviously in those talks you heard so much about the momentum. We have so many customers and all these verticals going on and momentum in different areas like AI for 21 million developers who couldn't access it before or what Urs talked about with getting the cloud to you so that all these assets can come online or Prabhakar talking about how more and more customers, the momentum inside G Suite is so strong because people want to be able to collaborate wherever they are. I think for 20 years, consumer has really been the place to be, particularly like mobile apps. But the level of involvement and the level of innovation that is now reaching because of cloud computing might be flipping that around and you're about to see an exceptional amount of innovation inside the enterprise as more and more computational power and more and more AI applications and more and more opportunities to collaborate and create at a kind of unprecedented pace just enable people to do more. Yeah, absolutely. So we hear oftentimes that the cloud is about getting cheap servers. After that, what well, that's else true. is the big deal? <laughs> well, that's true. It's cheap. And cheap is fun and cheap is good. But really, it's about being able to scale and realize things at a level that's appropriate for you. And one of the things that Urs did in his talk was talk about being able to take cloud-type capabilities to have um, security all across in a uniform way, to have identity policies, who's allowed in here and what can they do, to have developers who are inside your company and outside developers all work at a, a same level. That's something the cloud enables you to do. And what Google announced today amounts to bringing those capabilities really to the enterprise, your on-prem computers, inside the cloud, your hybrid environments, more and more places. That's, that's really interesting. It sounds like there's a lot of opportunities uh, for people uh, who are going to be building on our cloud. Can you drill into that a little bit more detail? Like, where do you see the, these opportunities leading to? Oh, well, for starts, obviously, you know, the idea of being able to manage better wherever you're computing means you're going to lower your admin costs. That, first off, saves money. Great, you can apply that somewhere else. It also means developers can stop doing kind of boring work and get themselves involved in more and more interesting projects. And when they get there, boom, there's this new auto ML in the cloud. This means you don't have to be some PhD data scientist to do artificial intelligence work. 21 million developers around the world can start to do AI work in a way that's meaningful and they can learn from it and they can grow with it. So the imagination is liberated in the best way technology can help people. That's amazing and it's great to hear that we're really giving and empowering users with our technology. How else does that really change the landscape? Oh, it does so much. I mean, in some ways this is about enterprise, but in some ways this is about where the world is headed right now. I, last year, there was a statistic about connected devices, and I did the math, and we are, now have at least one connected device for every square mile of inhabitable land on the planet. And that's only grown since. So what that means is, you know, wherever you are in our lifetimes, and certainly in our children's lifetimes, wherever you are, you will be steps away from a nearly infinite amount of computation you know, to use in whatever way you want and to improve on your product, your health, however you want to organize your life. So yes, this is an enterprise company, but business and commerce is the way typically a lot of civilization moves forward or better government is the way civilization moves forward or individual empowerment is the way civilization moves forward. So, you know, that sounds kind of large, that's because it is large, you know, and it's okay to be proud about that. Absolutely. Now, I hope I don't get into trouble for this. We don't usually talk about what's in the future at Google, but is there anything... I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> no, can, you give us, can you give us a little hint? Like, well, you know, this, you know, obviously, this is where we're at. Let's just think about the shape of this. Today, you've got big people giving big visions, and tomorrow, the people that stand behind them doing day-to-day -day work and the thousands of people who stand behind them enacting products, we'll start to talk about how these visions are made real. These aren't just products, these are proof points. And watch us, see, you know, hold our feet to the fire. Are we building to what we say we're building? And tomorrow we'll start delivering on that, I think. Absolutely. All right, well, thanks very much, Quentin. We really appreciate you giving us the time. It's great to be time. here.